Hello, ladies, gents, kids. Um, I hope you're loving it. I'm loving teaching you. Um, it's nice that we can come together as like a family and do this together. Um, maybe all doing it at separate times, but it's nice to think that when we are doing it, we're all doing it as our little abstract family. Um, today we're going to do part three of beginner's yoga. I'm going to work on twists. Uh, twisting of the body of the torso. It's great for digestion. It's great for a, a movement through that spine to realign that spine. And it's good to de-stress if you're sitting a lot and you're crashing into that spine. We're thinking about lengthening that spine and twisting into it. We're also going to look at side bends, which we haven't done. So we've done our vinyasas, which was our movement with breath. That was part one. Part two was our warriors. So they're very strong yoga poses that you'll often do if you do any class. And today is our twists and our side bends. Our side bends um, are great to balance the whole body, strengthen the muscles, um, and improves our flexibility, which is kind of what you want to get out of yoga, especially if you're an athlete or you're training, you're trying to improve your balance and your mobility. Um, so today we are going to start standing up. So if you did part one, we're going to come to Samus DTE, which is home. This is where we're going to home in on everything. So come to the top of your mat, which will be here. I'll face you so you can see that you can stay facing me at the end of your mat. Come to our feet together. If you're going to be a little bit further apart, they can be, if it's more comfortable for you. Gently rock backwards and forwards. So you're grounding those feet. You're feeling every part of those feet grounding into the earth. Think about roots growing from you. It's going to be a tall, strong tree. Engage your calves. Lift your kneecaps, engage your thighs. Gently tuck your tailbone so it's pointing towards your heels. Lift your rib cage. Bring your shoulders up to your earlobes. Roll them back and down so your shoulder blades drip down your spine. Turn your palms towards the front. Gently tuck your chin and lift the crown of your head. This is our tall tree. This is our Samus DTE, our home. This is where you're gonna feel tall and as strong as you can possibly be. And lengthen your spine. Feel how strong you can be without any effort. When it comes to that pranayama, that breath, so we start by breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth just to arrive here and focus on what we're doing today and how we're going to move and just switch up everything else. So you come in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your nose. Keep going at your own pace. So your eyes are closed, you're switched off. As you breathe in, imagine filling up, make it active. Fill up that belly, fill up that chest, fill up that body. As you breathe out, let everything go. Let that breath wash over your body. Let every muscle release. Just focus on that breath. Your inhale, your exhale. Maybe count it. It might be two counts in, two counts out. Visualize you feeling up your tummy, your chest. Relax your eyes, relax your face. Look and smile. Now, gently press your lips together. Put the tongues to the crown, uh, to the roof of your mouth. And as you breathe out, audio it so like you're fogging up a glass window active inhale relaxed exhale nothing matters now switch off everything come to my voice and your breath relax those shoulders relax that face focus on that breath you can stay breathing out through your mouth if that helps you focus. There's no right, there's no wrong, so just move how you need to move to open up that body today. So our first side bend. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Fill that body up with breath. Bring the hands together above your head. Maybe make a gun shape with your fingers, it does help. Squeeze your biceps to your ears, but relax your shoulders. Make sure that tail is tucked. In
inhale, reach the fingers as high as you can. Exhale, come over to the right. Not too far to start with. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. We're just warming that body up. You're breathing into the left hand side of your body. Make sure that left shoulder isn't dipping forwards. Open up in that chest. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Imagine your body is between two panes of glass. So you want to be flat. Don't curl into it. Trying to open up that rib cage. One more breath. A little bit deeper. Beautiful. Inhale to centre. Settle. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed but your biceps are squeezed. Inhale for length. Exhale. Then come over to the left. So push that right hip out. Squeeze those biceps. Lift that right shoulder. Breathe into the right hand side of that body. Breathe in for length. Breathe out to fold. Check your both your hips are facing forwards. Breathe into the right hand side of that body. Feel that opening, feel that strengthening of those muscles. One more breath. Inhale to centre. Release your grip. We're going to reach up. Relax your shoulders. I want you to lift your toes. So lift your toes. All ten toes off the floor. The weight is in your feet, but your toes are lifted. Bring your hands to shoulder height. Reach forward a little bit. Bend your knees. We're going to come into a squat. A squat, but your toes are lifted. Relax your shoulders. Lift your chest. Your drishti. Remember, that's where you're looking. That's what helps with your balance. Is out in front of you. Lift your toes a little bit higher. Sit a little deeper. Are you staying with that breath? Are your shoulders relaxed away from your ears? <sighs> Sit a little deeper. Chest a bit higher. Toes are lifted. Beautiful. Release. Inhale. All the way up. This one's come up onto the balls of your feet. Release your arms to shoulder height. Reach forward a little bit. Bend those knees. Come down into a squat where your heels are lifted. Relax your shoulders. Toes a little bit higher. No, sorry. Heels higher. So your heels are off the floor. Sit a little deeper. Chest a little higher. If you fall out, no stress. Don't beat yourself up. Come back into it. One more breath. Heels a little higher. Beautiful. Exhale. You're going to forward fold. Bend those knees. Beautiful. Take your arms behind your shins. And give yourselves a hug so bring that nose into the knees your legs are bent give yourselves a squeeze come back to that breath can you feel that tummy raising and lowering on your thighs clasp hold of either elbow and take a little rock from side to side maybe we'll bend into one knee then the other And you come back to that breath. Already, we've had some movement into the right and left hand side of the body. We've woken up those thighs, those calves, shoulders. Really nice. When you're ready, you're gonna roll all the way up. Keep your head as heavy as you can. All the way up, shoulders back and down. Relax your shoulders, palms out in front of you. Bring your hands to prayer on your chest. Close your eyes and really come to that breath, tuck in the tailbone. You can take a slight bend, you're gonna inhale, come all the way up and round, fill up, look up, tiny back bend. Exhale, bring your arms through the center line. Again, bend your knees, inhale, fill up. Exhale. Moving up through those shoulders. Can you switch off? Can you move with your own breath? Two more. Move how your body needs to move. Fill it up. One more. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Thanks for moving with me, my new yoga family. So you're at the top of your mat, you're coming back to your Samus DTE, is your tailbone tucked? Are you as tall as you can be? So here we did part one. We're gonna move through three Surya Namaskar A's. So together, or with your breath if you think you can. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring your hands to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands down. Step, step, high plank. Is it strong? Heels pushed down, knees lifted, tail tucked. Exhale, tuck knees, untuck your toes, lower your chest. Push your pelvis, squeeze your shoulder blades, inhale. Exhale, push your bum back, child's pose. Have a little wriggle. Wriggles are always welcome. What does your body need today? We all need to switch off. So come to that breath, come to my voice. Maybe the birds singing to you this morning. From here, tuck your toes. Come into our first downward dog. Pedal into those knees. This is called walking the dog. So bend one knee, then the other. Are your fingers spread? Very important. Working from the ground up, fingers are spread. Pushing into the finger pads, the knuckles of the hands and the heels of the hands. Your feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width. Take a good bend in your knees, push your chest back. Shake your head yes and no, and then gently ease your heel down. Everybody's body's different, so do what you can. The more you do it, the more your body will open. From here, bend your knees, look towards your hands, step, step. Straight into our halfway lift, so hands on shins, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees to fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samus DTE, beautiful. And again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. All the way down, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale, hands down, step, step, high plank. One breath, be strong. On your inhale, knees, toes, chest, all the way down. Tuck your pelvis on an inhale. Squeeze, look up. Baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, push your bottom back, and then straight up into your downward dog. Lovely, come to a bit of stillness this time. Your drishti, your viewpoint, is it your belly button? Trying to gently push that chest back towards those sides. Gently ease those heels down. Remember, you can bend your knees to make more of a pushback with that chest. Don't hold any tension in your head. One more breath. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, step, step. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samus DTE. This should be a bit easier for you now. We're gonna up it or stay as it was last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, bit straighter in the legs now. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step, step, or jump back, land lightly. Hold that plank, two breaths. On this exhale, lower halfway to 90. Push forward, roll over your toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. That's another level, right? If you've got any questions or anything, you can message me. I can help if you've got any injuries. Let me know, I can give you modifications. But that is the full vinyasa. You need some help you can even video it and send it to me i can help you two more breaths switch off we're here to open our body quieten our mind and feel good stay with me bend your knees look towards your hands step step or jump so you need to land as lightly as possible that's why we call it floating inhale halfway lift. squeeze your back like you've got you've got a table 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samasthiti. Well done. It's really good. You're just starting out. You're doing amazing. So we're going to do half of that to come into our twists and our posts today. Stay with me. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. You know it now. You trust yourself. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or jump. Hold it, one breath. On the next exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, push forward, roll over your toes. Exhale, push back. So we're in our downward dog. From here, even weight between both hands. We are gonna lift our right leg. Here, toes pointing down, hips parallel. This is our free three-legged dog. Push your chest back to your hands. On an exhale, we're gonna bring the knee to the nose and come into our planks. Push your shoulders forward. Inhale, bring your knee to your nose. Exhale, push it back. One more, inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, push it back. This time we're gonna step that foot in between the hands. You can help it if you need to. Inhale, knee to nose. Then pop that foot down in between the hands. If you need to, give it a hand. From here, we're gonna lower our left knee, untuck our toes. Make sure you're train trapped with your foot and knee, otherwise you won't have any balance. When you feel settled, lift those arms and coming into a low lunge. Come back to that breath. From here, we're gonna cactus our arms like this. Cactus. Gently, you're gonna inhale and push your groin forward. Lift that chest, stay with that breath. Feel that left hip flexor opening. Feel the chest opening, the shoulders. Inhale to center, bring those hips back above that knee. You're gonna bring right hand onto a right thigh. Inhale for length with that left hand. Exhale, you're gonna come over to the right. Use that right hand for stability on that leg. We're gonna reach over, we're breathing into the left hand side of our body. Another side stretch. Reach with those fingers, don't let that left shoulder fall forward. Use that right hand for balance. Beautiful. Inhale to center. Take your right hand and bring it behind you. We're opening up over to that right hand side. So you're open up to the right leg. Take a breath, this is our twist. Inhale for length, so lift the crown of your head. Exhale to twist. One more breath. Beautiful, we're gonna put our left hand down to the floor. Right hand, we're gonna spring it round and up for a twist. This one you might feel in your right bottom cheek. If you can't feel the twist, come up onto your fingertips on the left hand and lift that chest a little bit higher. Stay with that breath. Keep the big toe of the right foot grounded. One more breath. Bring the right hand down the other side. So you're framing your right foot. Tuck your left toes and push your right foot back to three-legged dog. Beautiful. Bring that foot down to downward dog and have a little pedal. Beautiful, other side, lift the left leg. Knee to nose, push forward into plank. Push it back. With your breath, push it forward. Knee to nose, shoulders over hands. Push it back, last one. This time, step it through between the hands. Give it a hand if you need to. Drop that right knee, untuck the toe. When you feel stable, lift. Very, very nice. Come back to that breath. 
I am strong. Bend your arms to cactus position. On an inhale, push your groin forward. Lift your chest. Feel the opening of that right hip flexor. The opening of your chest. The opening of your shoulders. Let something go. Inhale back to centre. Beautiful. Bring the hips above that right knee. Left hand on left thigh. Inhale for length, reach that right hand up. Exhale for a side bend. So you're bending over to the left. Breathe into the right hand side of that body. Breathe all the way into that tummy. Breathe out, let that muscles go. So any tight bits, try and imagine you're breathing the breath into that. As you breathe out, they're releasing. Excellent, come back to center. Left hand, back and round. Open up to the left. Inhale to lift the turn of your head. Exhale, twist. Shoulders are up. the right hand down on the inside of that left foot. Lift that up. Left hand comes down and round. Lift it up. Fill the front. Open that chest. Keep a big curve of the left foot grounded. If you can't feel it, come up onto your fingertips on the right hand. Lift that chest. Don't hold any tension when you don't need it. Let it go. Beautiful, open it up that left bottom too. Bring the left hand down to frame that left foot. So you've got a hand either side. Remember, when your hand's on the floor, fingers always spread. Tuck your right toes. Lift your left foot to the sky, three legged dog. Beautiful, bring it back down. Have a little pedal. Right, we're up in the ante. Similar but standing. Give it a go. Remember, part three, you can do this as many times as you wish. Inhale, lift your right leg. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step it all the way through like we did before. Now make sure your feet are on train tracks, not on a tightrope. So train tracks. Settle into those feet and lift those arms. We're gonna come into a high lunge. So settle into that shape. Relax those shoulders down. Cactus the arms, gently push the groin forward. It's not as easy now standing, is it? Feel it in that left hip flexor. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Inhale to center. Right hand, right thigh, inhale for length. Exhale, lean over to the right. Maybe take a bend in that left leg. It helps for balance. Breathe into the left hand side of that body. Open up. Beautiful. Inhale to center. Right hand back and down. Open up to the right. So you're opening up over that bent leg. It's really good. Feel that twist. Nice, strong legs, front knee tracking forward. This time, left hand down to the floor, same as we did before. Right hand up and over, lift into that twist. Bend into that front leg, open that chest. Really nice. It's called strong yoga for a reason, my family. Right hand down, frame the front foot. Push the right foot all the way up. Three-legged dog, beautiful. Bring it down next to the left, have a pedal. Our feet are hip width. Push into either shoulder. Other side, lift that left leg. Three-legged dog. Push that chest back, even weight between both hands. 
When you're ready, bend it, step it through. Settle your feet. When you're ready, lift. This is where your drishti helps, your focus. Cactus your arms, shoulders away from your ears. Push it in on an inhale, push your groin forward, lift your chest. Make sure that left knee is tracking forwards. Go to where's right for you today. Stay with that breath, it will help you. Inhale to centre. Left hand, left thigh, right hand up. Take a bend in that back knee if you need it. Inhale for length. Exhale, coming over to the left. Stare at that viewpoint out in front of you. That will help with your balance. Your breath will help you with balance. Breathe into the right hand side of that body. Open up that rib cage. You can do this. Strong legs, strong mind. Come back to centre. Left hand opening up to the left hand side. Into that twist. Inhale for length. Remember, always trying to make this fine as long as possible. These twists are going to help with our digestion. De stress us. Realign our spine. Make us feel amazing. You can jazz hands if you want. You can smile if you want. Right hand down on the inside of that left foot. Left hand up and around and open up. If you want to try coming onto the fingertips, lifting that chest, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Stay with that breath. Really nice. Hello, left bottom cheek. Frame that front foot. Kick that left leg all the way up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Beautiful. Back to downward dog. Have a pedal. This is our last one. Bend your knees, push your chest back. Does your downward dog feel any more open, any more comfortable? When you're ready, we're gonna do one chaturanga, so inhale, push forward to higher plank. Last one, guys, come on. Exhale, halfway. Hold it, hold it. On an inhale, push forward, roll over your toes. Lift that chest. On an exhale, tuck your toes, push back. Really nice. Two breaths. Come back to that breath. <sighs> Bend your knees. Look towards your hands. This time we're going to step or jump between our hands. I'm going to lower our bottoms all the way to the floor. Come to the floor, snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you. Tuck your tail back and replace your bottom. So lift your bottom, tuck a tail under and then slowly lower. You can take one more twist here. So we're gonna take our right leg over our left. It's like we're crossing our knees. Scoot your bottom to the right. Then you let your knees pop out to the left. Right hand out, shoulder high, if this is comfortable for you. Use your left hand to maybe anchor those legs down. And if it's all right for your neck, look over those right fingertips. So we are coming to a twist. Let your body sink. You don't need to hold on to any muscles now. Just breathe into that stretch. Let your body go. Try and get that right shoulder down. Effortless now, imagine it's heavy and you're sinking into the twist. Beautiful, come back to center, unravel those legs. Bring your knees in and give them a big squeeze. Have a little rock from side to side. Nice for the spine. And then we'll go to the other side, so both feet on the floor. Take your left leg over your right. Now you're crossing your legs. Scoot your bottom over to the left. 
and let your knees fall to the right. Don't stress if you've not quite got it, just try again. We're here for like five breaths. Left hand out, shoulder high. If it's all right to your neck, look over your left hand side. Use your right hand on your knees to give yourself a bit of weight if you want it. Let your body release if it feel heavy. Sink down. Every breath out, your body's feeling heavier. Sinking deeper. Relax your face. Breathe into that twist. One more breath, last chance to let it go. Beautiful knees back to centre. Bring your knees in, bring your head to your knees. Give yourself a big, big hug. Great work, my darlings. On an exhale, release down into a star shape, like you would if you're on your own in a double bed. Snuggle your shoulders. Get your bottom comfortable. Get your whole body as comfortable as you can possibly be. Close your eyes. This is Shavasana. So work up your body with my voice. Your breath is effortless now. Just let it gently come in and out of your body. No thought needed. Tune in on my voice and switch off your body. Relax your feet, let them fall out to the sides. Relax every muscle in your calves, in your thighs. Let your hips relax. Your rib cage should feel open and released. Every muscle in your arms is relaxed. Your fingers are relaxed. The back of your neck is heavy on the mat. Every muscle in your face is relaxed. Your jaw, your tongue. Your eyelids are heavy. And all you can see is the blacks of your eyes. Family can be from birth, acquired, a partner or a friend. A family can be few or only two. Family isn't always blood. It's people in your life who want you in theirs. The ones who accept you for who you are. The ones who would do anything to see you smile and who love you no matter what. Our family is what we make of them. Us moving together, that's our family. For this moment in time. Love is unconditional. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Welcome back. Take your arms over your head. Take a full body stretch. Reach, reach, reach. 
Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, but relax that head, keep your eyes closed. Gentle rock from side to side. When you're ready, roll onto your right hand side. Let's take three breaths in through our nose, out through our mouth. Your last chance to let that body sink down. Let it go. Gently push yourself up into a comfortable seating position. Try to keep those eyes closed. Bring those hands together, thumbs to your heart. To be a part of a family is so divine. Where love is shown, hurt is shared. We talk, we laugh, we cry. But we are a family and we do it all together. You hurt one, you hurt all. And as a family unit, we always stand together full of strength, full of love, a family no one can touch. That's why we love our very own family so very much. Thank you for practicing with me, every family out there. Even if you're on your own, know you have family and your loved ones. We all have family, reach out, grab it, love it. I hope you enjoyed the movement. I hope your body feels good. I hope your mind feels amazing. Thank you for sharing this with me. Namaste. Well done. Till next time. What?